What's up, everybody? Welcome to Dice House and our DCO commentary. Uh, today I'm bringing you this commentary here today. I'm going to talk about the uh, Update 17 PC test server patch notes. Um, guys who listened to the podcast last night, which I don't know why you wouldn't have been, you would have heard that uh, the announcement that PC test servers were live with Update 17 changes. Uh, on top of all the other changes that uh, they are putting on the test server though right now, the ones I really want to talk about here today and in this video are the changes that came with here, here they introduced for gadgets and mental. Now keep in mind these are the test server patch notes so how much of this we actually do see in the um, update 17 when it is released is up for debate. <laughs> um, uh, we'll wait until we get feedback from the P guys on the PC and all that to uh, find out exactly what's going on and we'll see um, what exactly we end up seeing in the te uh, the actual release of the update but here's the patch notes so far uh, real quick I want to note that uh, my buddy Trexlight who is uh, plays on the PC he downloaded the test server last night he's uh, already created his mental character he's going to be doing videos this weekend uh, with all the changes and everything uh, to show us you know exactly what's going on here uh, but as with both powers mental and gadgets uh, the abilities have been visually updated so the you know, anime you're gonna see different animations um, for a lot of the powers I'm sure uh, but let's start off with uh, iconic powers all right immediately right off the bat here we see that they have removed the clown box and gag glove abilities from the gadgets uh, trees from the gadgets powers and they've put those in the iconic power sets so those are no longer gadget specific powers uh, don't fret though they have replaced them but I'll get to it I'm just going to go ahead I'm going to read through all of this because this is some very interesting stuff uh, with what they've done here for gadgets starting with the trap tree uh, they, the battle drone gives power back to a rate group over time bunker buster decreased supercharged costs from 100% to 50% and they decrease the damage slightly cryo field added an initial damage burst Fear gas increased range to 12.5 meters from 10.5 meters, and it panics enemies. Neural neutralizer increased the low end range of damage so it never hits for less than gauze grenade. Increased the amount of damage absorption that restoration affects to 100%, matching the amount from dominance. So this is a buff to neural neutralizer. Uh, stealth. Usable while in combat, you are no longer snared or using the sneaking animation. Increase the cooldown to 30 seconds from 1 second. Cuff them, the one of the abilities that you get when you're in stealth. Cuff them deals damage and decrease the cooldown to 10 seconds. Implosion Mind deals damage. Tooltip now states that this ability retains stealth when used but is vulnerable to interrupt. Uh, and decrease the cooldown to 15 seconds. Surprise Attack now plays full animation. That's all in the, the stealth um, tree right there, whenever you're stealth. Thermite Mine, this is uh, back to uh, regular powers. Thermite Mine, decrease the cast time to 1.5, I'm sorry, 1.4 seconds, increase the cooldown to 1.5 seconds. Sleep Dart, decrease the power cost to 300 from 350, and they increase the damage. Uh, into the Tricks tree, let's see, Anesthetic, increase the amount healed. Asphyxiation gas uses a more appropriate animation and increase the damage. Distract, formerly known as hide, uh, they decrease the duration of damage absorption to 5 seconds from 8 seconds, increase the amount of damage absorption that restoration affects to 100% matching the amount from dominance, and no longer makes you invisible. So now it looks like maybe they have made it a little bit more in line with grandeur. Uh, at least what grandeur currently is in the game. <laughs> uh, okay, going back here. Energy Shield. This is replacing Clown Box, uh, which is in the Iconic Powers tree uh, now. The uh, shield you if your health falls below 35%. Okay. So, okay. Now moving on to Holographic Decoy. This is replacing the Sentry Turret. Transfers 25% of incoming damage to Decoy. All right, and taunts nearby enemies. So this may be a good thing to use, you know, in a raid or something like that to uh, get aggro off yourself. Uh, intimidate adds panic when target's health is above 50% and stuns when below. Napalm grenade. This is replacing bomb. Uh, hits in a larger radius than gauze grenade with fewer targets, but sets targets on fire. 
Photon Blast. This is replacing the Warden Turret. Damages and stuns a single target. Deals more damage to target under 35%. So it looks like this is a 35 um, under 35% health um, power that Gadget is getting now. So I think they're adding these to all the powers. Uh, whether it's an instant cast or not, we'll have to see. Uh, let's see. Stasis Field. Deals damage even if target is immune to encase. Applies crushed power interaction in control stance. Uh, damage over time is as long as the encasement lasts. All right. Moving on here. Suppressor Turret. They've added the Flamethrower, Taser Pool, and Stasis Encasement, formerly as the Warden Turret ability. Uh, they've also increased the damage of primary attack, reduced size of the turret by 25%, and they've updated the icon. Uh, Vortex Cannon. This is replacing Gag Glove, which is now in the Iconic Street. Uh, same functionality as Gag Glove. Damage to characters is no longer split with objects. This is the same for Gag Glove as well. Alright, that's all of the uh, gadgets changes here. I want to go in here and before I talk about any of these changes, I want to talk, you know, get into the mental. We'll uh, go a little mental here and talk about that. Of course, you know, as with gadgets, the uh, visuals have been updated um, to a more organic energy style, they say. Uh, let's see here. Starting with the Telekinesis Tree. Bastion restores power when hit by enemies, may damage enemy back when hit, now affects all group members, increase the supercharge cost to 100%. And I know everybody's freaking out because they've already got 100% shield, 100% uh, supercharged shield here, but let's let's keep listening here. <laughs> uh, Bull Barrage, they increase the average base damage. Uh, damage is not split between objects and characters. It can hit 8 of each type of entity. Cryokinesis. Reduce the power cost to 370 from 475. Deals extra damage to dazed enemies and may knock them down. Mass Levitation. Hits 8 targets instead of 4. Adds dazed. And tooltip now includes this as vulnerable to interrupt. Uh, let's see. Psychic Resonance. Deals extra damage to dazed enemies. Remove damage to break from stun. Reduced power cost. Pyrokinesis. Tooltip now includes stun. Telekinesis adds uh, dazed power interaction. Telekinetic bolt reduces the power cost. Telekinetic push deals extra damage to dazed enemies. Telekinetic shield increases the amount of damage absorption that restoration affects to 100%, matching the amount from dominance. Decrease the cooldown to 22 seconds. Uh, let's see here. Moving on here. Thought bubble damages the enemy even if enemy is immune to being encased. This is a nice little buff right there for thought bubble. Uh, see, going into the illusion tree now. Uh, convalesce. This is, uh, replaces psychic shield. Uh, adds the breakout effect. Adds damage absorption for two seconds. Heals over time and supercharge cost of 35% now. Horrific Tantilla. This is uh, formerly psychic blades. Adds the uh, terror to it. Uh, horrific visage requires level 8 changed places in the tree with terrorize. Uh, they fixed an issue where the target would change into the ghost from ghost form multiple times in a second. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Invisibility replaces illusory forms. Works like stealth from gadgets. Uh, you'll also get um, ambush sleep. Uh, reduced stun to 15 seconds. Removes stealth. Deals damage. Lowered cooldown to 10 seconds. And you also get ambush uh, attack of uh, pain blast. Updated animation so that all weapon types play the animation. Same animation. Grandeur. Decreased cooldown to 20 seconds from 30 seconds. Increase the amount of damage absorption that restoration affects to 100%, matching the amount from dominance. Mass Terror. Uh, remove the snare so you can run at normal speed. Adds terror to 8 targets. Ma I'm sorry, that was Mass Hysteria. <laughs> Um, mass Hysteria removed the snare so you can run at normal speed and adds terror to 8 targets. Mass Terror hits 8 targets. Damage is not split between objects and characters. It can hit 8 of each type of entity and it panics enemies. Menace deals damage. Increased power cost to 250 from 200. Deals extra damage to terrified enemies. Panics instead of stun. Uh, Phantom Flames. Burning power interaction damage was reduced to match fire's power interaction. Hmm. 
I'm not sure, quite sure what that means, but we'll see. Uh, increased damage without powder interaction. Reduced stun duration to 12 seconds when in control roll. Psychic Shock. Tooltip now includes the damage to terrified enemies. Electrified power interaction now lasts the full 12 seconds, even if the target breaks out. This is a nice little thing here. Um, we you know work between uh, electricity and mental players there. Uh, reflect pain. Tooltip now includes it is usable while controlled. Transfers 100% of incoming damage to your target for 5 seconds, capping at 15% of your maximum health. Increase the cooldown to 28 seconds. And then we have terrorized panics enemies. Deals more damage to your target. 35% health or below. Deals damage even if target is immune to crowd control. Swap places with horrific visage. Uh, and is vulnerable to interrupt. So now with the exception of uh, electricity, that's what we're going to be seeing here in the test server and possibly in the update, uh, every power is going to have a um, big burst um, damage um, dealing power for uh, targets that have 35% uh, or lower health. So and we may actually be able to see some more mental, I mean we see a lot of gadgets, uh, DPS has already but you know we may be seeing some more mental DPS in uh, PVE and PVP, especially in PVP, because mental's a rare sight in PVP these days. Uh, a lot of these changes, I mean, I, I'm glad to see uh, mental's you know finally getting some attention, and it's getting what looks to be like it's getting brought in line alongside of gadgets. Uh, some of these changes with gadgets, though, I mean, I understand them. You know, taking the clown box and the gag glove, and uh, you know the Joker bomb thing out of uh, the tree because it didn't make, I mean, those, 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 sh you know, clown box and gag glove, those, those both should be like iconic powers because that more deals with the Joker than that does with, you know, being a gadgets character. Uh, I'm glad to see, you know, they're getting replaced with a uh, you know, more neutral type uh, power usages there. But um, some of these things, uh, they changed with, uh, <clears throat> Gadgets. I mean, gadgets is already very powerful. Uh, it's not very versatile. You did have to go with a pretty cookie cutter loadout for gadgets. So maybe we'll be seeing some changes as far as what powers people choose for uh, using gadgets now in um, PvP and PvE. Uh, I know PvP. It was extremely cookie cutter. I mean, if you did not have a specific loadout um, for gadgets when you were doing PvP, you were kind of doing it wrong. But now with uh, these changes, maybe we'll see something different. Um, you know, folks will, uh, you know, swap a couple of powers out or something like that. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, but as always, um, I will have a link for these patch notes in case you guys missed anything or I went a little bit too fast for you all. I have a link for these patch notes in the um, description below for you guys. Grant, now, Mike, I want to keep in mind, all right, remind everybody that the this is the update test server uh, patch notes okay there is no guarantee that everything we're going to use, that we're getting from these patch notes here they're on the test server now there's no real guarantee that everything on here is going to be in update 17 when it, whenever it is released uh, we do not have a date for that but I'm sure they, they are obviously they're going to let us know when um, it's coming close to uh, time for the update release um, I also want to remind everybody to check out my buddy Trex Light's um, YouTube channel. He's going to be doing videos from the test server this weekend um, as soon as he gets home, which you better hurry home, son. Uh, <laughs> he uh, is going to be doing test servers, um, you know, videos all this weekend for everybody uh, to uh, show, you know, at least, you know, at least show us the new uh, power interactions, animations, and everything that have been brought in with these changes to gadgets and mental. Um, there are other patch notes here for, you know, that have been introduced for the test server. Uh, it's obviously, I mean, they're, they're cool. Uh, you guys can check them out and read them and everything. Uh, but those were not the main things that everybody's been looking for in this update. Uh, <laughs> that being said though, um, I'm really interested to see, uh, how exactly these things work here. I'm looking forward to going and checking out Trex's channel and, uh, uh, seeing what's going on with that link to his channel. I'll We'll put in the description below. You can also find a link for it um, on my um, home page on my YouTube uh, channel itself where you can uh, go there and um, Check out his videos 
but that's about it for this video here uh, let me know what you guys think about all these changes in the comments below I really want to hear what you guys think about some of this stuff um, if you like the video please do so by giving it a thumbs up and if you haven't done so already please subscribe until next time you guys all take care bye